I will tell you from my research, F is not just F. It is F and it is two, it has two names because when it comes to inharmonic equivalent or inharmonic notes, you find out and you um, note and you, and you know that, okay, this F is not just F, but when you add a sharp to E, this F is, will be called E sharp. E sharp. Now let's come to F. When we add a sharp to F, or uh, a sharp is appended to F, F is the initial note, which is still the note name. Then, when a sharp is added to it, it is called F sharp, which is the black key after F. Now, let me let me give another instance to know where your sharp is. Now, there is something about sharp. Sharp is always indicated or represented where while you are ascending in a scale. Sharp is always indicate, uh, indicated while you are ascending in a scale. Now let's move to flat. Now flat represents or looks like uh, a small letter B, a small letter B, but it is not a small letter B because there is a little difference in the, in the small letter B and flat. But let's just say it like that so that you understand as soon as you are seeing it in the screen. Yeah, so flat looks like a small letter B, which is also appended to a note name that indicates that it is a semitone lower. You know, when we talk about sharp, sharp is appended to a note name which is indicated um, by a semitone higher. You know, when we talk about sharp, sharp is appended to a note name which is indicated um, by a semitone higher. But when it comes to flat, it is a semitone lower. Now this is the best thing for example, you know, we are ascending C, after C is not C sharp, after D is D sharp, after E is E sharp or F. That's where the inharmonic note comes in. After F, we have the F sharp, after G, we have G sharp, after A, we have A sharp, after B, we have B sharp or C. Now, do you believe that all these black keys are what we call the inharmonic notes? Now let me let them give an instance. In harmonic notes as a single note, but it has two names. In harmonic note is a single key, but it has two names. Now let's take for example for the C sharp. C sharp is known as C sharp and it is also known as D flat when it comes to flat. You know, I said uh, flat is a is appended to a note name indicating that it is a semitone lower. Now this is D. When you are descending, it is called when you are descending to the black key four, it is called B flat. The black is called B flat. But when you have your E and you are and you are descending to the black note before before it, it is called the E flat. Now where we have the G, when we are descending, the black note before it is called the G flat. And here we have A. And the black note before it is called A flat. B. Then the black note before it is B flat. You now I said when you are ascending, it is called C sharp. It is called sharp. But when you are descending, you represent it as flat. Now C, after C we have the C sharp. After D we have the D sharp. After E we have F. After F we have A sharp, after G we have G sharp, after A we have A sharp, after A sharp we have B. Now, when we are descending, it is called flat. Before B is where we have, where we have our B flat. Before A is where we have our A flat. Before G is where we have our G flat. Before F is where we have E. Then before E is where we have E flat. And before D is where we have flat. Now, if you look at it, you know, I said this is D flat now, and it is also known as C sharp. That is when you are ascending. But when you are descending, it is known, it is known as a flat. All these black notes are known as, are known as flat when you are descending. But when you are ascending, they are known as sharps. Now, let's move on. Now, we've learned about the sharps and 
plant. Now we are moving to the inharmonic notes. Now what is the inharmonic note? Inharmonic note is also known as the inharmonic equivalent. And the inharmonic note is a single note, one note, one key. Like let's say for example, this C sharp. Inharmonic note is a single note that has two names, which has more than one name, but it is just two names. For example, all these black keys are what we call the inharmonic notes. But this white key, they are not what we call it. But these black keys are what we can use to describe our inharmonic notes. Now let's go. As we have this as C sharp, we also have it as D flat. As we have this black key as D sharp, we also have it as E flat. As we have this black key as F sharp, we also have it as G flat. Because when you are descending, it is known as a flat. But when you are ascending, it is known as a sharp. So it has two names. Now the two names for this is C sharp and D flat. The two names and the harmonic names for this is D sharp and E flat. Now the two names for this black key is the F sharp and G flat. Now the two names for this black key is the G sharp or A flat. The two names for this black key is known as A sharp or B flat. Now we have the C sharp or D flat, um, D sharp or E flat. We have F sharp or G flat. Here we have. G sharp or E flat, here we have A sharp or B flat, that's all. And that's what we call the inharmonic notes or inharmonic equivalent. Yeah. Now I would like to make emphasis on tones and semitone so as for us to understand it very well. Now when we talk about a tone, a tone is the interval of three notes. A tone is the interval of three notes. For example, a tone starts from this to this. To this, from this key to this key. Let's say from this, this is G, and we have G sharp and A. Now, when we are counting one, two, three, now a tone is the interval of these three notes. A tone is the interval of these three notes. Now, when we talk about a semitone, a semitone is the interval of two notes. Let's take for instance from E to F is an example of a semitone, and from the B to C. Is an example of a semitone, and from C to C sharp is also an example of a semitone. Let's take for instance from D to D sharp is an example of a semitone because a semitone is the interval of two notes. From this to this is a semitone. Now let's come again to tone. Now from this C to D is a semitone because we also have this black key here. So when we have why we have this black key here, it makes it three notes. So when you count one, two, three, it makes it a tone. So when someone asks you from C to D, is it a tone or a semitone? Don't be confused. Make sure you are uh, counting accordingly. Make sure you are counting counting it in semitones. Because if you are not counting it in semitones, you will make mistake or say something else. Because when you count it in semitones, you count the next note, you count, you also count the black key in addition to all you are counting. Because if you do not count the black key, it will seem as if it is just a semitone when you are counting from C to D. So, but when you add the black key to it, it makes it a tone. Because when you count one, two, three, it makes it a tone. Now, from D to E, it's also a tone. When you count it one, two, three. Now from C sharp to D sharp or E flat is also a tone because when you count it one, two, you add the white key also to it. One, two, three, it is a tone. Now let's count again from E flat to F is also a tone because when you count it, it makes three notes. One, two, three. So this is also a tone. When you count from F sharp to G sharp, it is also a tone. G F sharp. Also a tone. Now let's move to the flat, um, the um, semitones. From C to C sharp is a semitone because a semitone states that 
it will be an interval of two notes. So from C to C sharp is a semitone. From C sharp to D is a semitone. From D sharp to E flat is a semitone. From E flat to E is a semitone. From E to F is a semitone. From F to F sharp is a semitone. So that, that one is still very simple. From A to A e sharp is a semitone. From B to C is a semitone. So that's as simple as that. Now we'll be considering the last two middle case that helps us to detect or find middle scales. Now, which are the words, the chromatic scale, the atomic scale, and the formula for finding middle scales? Now, let's start with the diatomic scale. Now, the definition for the atomic scale says a diatomic scale has tones, has tones, and semitones. Why is uh, a chromatic scale as semitones only? Now let me come again for the atomic scale. When you talk about the atomic scale, if the atomic scale has tones at the first, second degree and at the fourth to fifth and fifth to sixth degree of the scale, it has tones, but it has semitones at the third to fourth degree and at the sixth, at the seventh to eighth degree, which is, for example, let's start from this, from the first note, which is our C. When we are, when we are talking about the atomic scale, the atomic scale is an example like of this, of this, the first kind of that we play, the major scale we have. The atomic scale is also similar to what we call the major scale. Let's say, the C major, that's an example of a diatonic scale because it has a tone at the first degree, one, two, three, a tone. And that group, one, two, three, a tone. Then, here we have a semitone. Here we have a semitone. Then, here we have a tone again. A tone. A tone. Then, a semitone. Which means a diatonic scale has tones at the first, second, third degree, but at the third to fourth degree, it has a semitone, and it has tones at the fourth, fifth, sixth degree. But from the seventh to eighth degree, we have the semitone, which is this one, a tone, a tone. Now, the definition for chromatic scale says a chromatic scale ascends and descends in semitones only. A chromatic scale ascends or descends in semitones only. For example, when we have, we have the C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. Whereby you ascend and descend in semitones. That's the chromatic scale. Now, when it comes to the chromatic scale and the diatonic scale, you know, you find out that the chromatic scale looks like a minor scale, but it's not a minor scale. The chromatic scale is different from a minor scale because a minor scale sometimes has tones in between the degree. While you are moving your scale, it has tones. But a chromatic scale has only semitones. Now, let's move to the formula for finding for finding all major scales. Now, the formula for finding all major scales is the tone, tone, semitone. Then tone, 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 semitone, which is the first two tone, 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 semitone, a semitone, then Tone, 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 three semitones, three tones, then under semitone. We have the tone. Now let me use the scale of uh, C, C major scale. Let me use it as an example. You know we have C, D, E, M, G, A, B, C as the major scale for C. Now how do we, how do you find out to get this as a, as a major scale? Now some teachers don't tell their students that okay, this is how we get to know that this is the major scale of C. Some just show that now, please place your hand like this, do your hand like this, okay. 
it's wrong. Now let me let me show you how we found out that okay, this is the scale of the rate of C major. Now this is it. When we count from C, no, our tone has empty, don't forget. No, I said the formula for finding major scales is what tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now the first tone we count from your C. You count the tone from your C. One, two, three. That's the tone. Then from D again, one, two, three. That or that tone. Now we are moving to a semitone. A tone from E. One, two. Now we've got it to F. Now a tone again, one, two, three. We've got in so. Now a tone again. We've got in la. A tone again. We've got in T. Then back to a semitone. Now this is a tone. Now let's let's try other examples like C sharp, like C sharp. Let's try other examples. Now from C sharp, when you count the tone from C sharp, you get to D sharp because you count one, two, three. You count one, two, and three. Then you get to your D sharp. When you count another tone from D sharp, you get one, two, three. You get to your F. Now when you count a semitone from F you get to F sharp, which is R on C sharp. Now from this F sharp to G sharp is a tone. From G sharp to F um, B flat is also a tone. So when you now count a tone again for the last time, you know you've counted a tone here, a tone here, a semitone, a tone, a tone, a tone. You counted another tone, three tone, one, two, three. Now you count a semitone to get to your last do, which is the root note. Now let's move to another, another key. Let's, let's move to E flat. Now let's, let's, let's talk about the E flat. To so get the major scale of E flat. Now when you count the tone, from E you get to F. If you are counting the tone, 1, 2, 3. Now let's move to another tone, from F to G. Now we found our do. Now, to far, you count a semitone. That's your semitone. Now, you count a tone. A tone. A tone. Then, a semitone to get to your root note. Now, let's move to F. Do. Now it's a mid-tone. That is a mid-tone. Now let's count. Now we are going to count a tone. That's a tone. So la. That's a tone. La. T. That's also a tone. Then T. Do. It's a mid-tone. Now let's count on G. Then we move to B flat. Now from G, let me count the tone. G. G sharp. A. Now we've got to do. Now, from A to B is also a tone. Do, re, re, mi. Now, you count a semitone. Mi, fa, from B to C. Now, we are moving to another tone. So, fa, so, which is C, D. Fa, so, then, um, so, la, that's another tone. La, T, that. And on that one, then the last one we end with with the semitone. Si, do, si, do. Now, if you can memorize this formula, which is the tone, tone, semitone, then tone, 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 semitone, you will always get your, um, you will always get the major skills of all keys because with this formula you can use it to get all major skills. Now let me round up, round it up with a song, and I will advise you that when you are uh, detecting or finding your major skills, you identify them in keys in their alphabets. Because when you make use of notes like do, you get confused. You get confused because if you are looking for the scale of another key, you get confused. But when you are making use of your keys, then you just put it down. Put it under it, put your notes under it, then the keys or the alphabet on it so you can 
easily identify them like that. Now let me round it up with the song. Now let me play it on F sharp. Some of you might be uh, confused seeing my fingering position. Now I'm using um, inversion to play my chord on F sharp. This is what I'm supposed to play, but I'm not using the this position, so I'm changing to a, an inversion. But it still brings the same sound, but different pitch. It brings the same chord, but different pitch. Now, let me use the song. Let me sing the song. button so as to get notification for every of our new videos. 